Hey everybody, we are so excited we get to talk to Miss Dolly Parton who has her first ever children's album coming out. Why did it take so long? I don't know. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> I know. When I saw that you were doing this, I thought, this is just such a perfect fit with Imagination Library, everything that you've done with giving away books. I felt like you should have done this before. Well, you know what? I've always wanted to, but it's like one of those things where timing is everything. Right. But I've been writing songs for years, as yeah. you mentioned, for the Imagination Library. But it was just this year, because when I found out that we were giving away our 100 millionth book, wow. uh, and then also the success of the two Code of Many Colors movies, we've got a lot of new uh, fans and children and I wasn't sure what I wanted to do musically and that was God's way of saying put that children's album out <laughs> and so I did. You did. October 13th mm -hmm. coming out, yeah. I Believe in You. When you announced it you brought a lot of our friends and, and my little girl got to be there to watch you sing. Were you nervous to come out and sing to kids? That's a different no, audience. No, I wasn't nervous about the kids. I was nervous about all of you. The press <laughs> brought the kids. I, mean, I was like, oh, they're going to, you know, because it was like we were doing a kind of a review. Yeah. So, but the kids, I have no trouble with kids. I am a kid, and they love me, and I love them. And we just kind of just like magnets. We just fit together. So, but it was fun getting to do that, you know, for the kids and letting them sing along with me or hear me you know, sing or tell right. the stories and all that. Well, it's interesting too, because you take on some topics that are very timely and not necessarily lighthearted when we're talking about bullying and things that a lot of these kids are going through these days. Yeah, but I do it in a fun teaching yeah. way, almost like I'm Miss Dolly, their school teacher. Yes. You know, and it's, but I, I do go on topics like that. The bullying, there's a song called Making Fun Ain't Funny. Right. And I talk about it and it's singable and it's easy to sing and it, I make it fun, but I teach them a really good lesson. It's like how would you feel if, if you're the right. one that they were laughing at? Like, don't do that, you know, because that's, you don't want to make yourself look big by making someone else s seem small. And so I think I've got a lot of good messages in there. And I really think this day and time, the world is so crazy and dark. I think it's very uplifting, even for the parents. I think that the whole family might get a blessing out of it. Absolutely. Or some joy. Absolutely. I just can't keep up with you because you have so many things that are going on, and we love the movies that you've been doing with NBC. So, thank you. What do we got? Do we have one coming up this year, or is it going to happen? No, in the they'll probably show uh, the the ones that we we did. Uh, I don't have one in the movie. I don't have one in the works that right. could come out this year. But we're working on some things for TV, so we, hopefully we'll have some more things on next year. Now, I know you're working on a movie right now with Jennifer Aniston. Tell well, me actually, this. Jennifer is producing and acting yep. in a movie called Dumplin'. Okay. And she's, uh, they're just using my music because the story was from a New York Times bestseller list two or three years ago about this little heavy girl that her mom, who's Jennifer Aniston, was a beauty queen and won the contest many years ago, but now she's still puts these shows on for the, you know, for the little beauty queens and her daughter wants to be in it, mm -hmm. but she's overweight. And so she, her, her mother's always called her dumpling just affectionately. But anyway, so the little girl in the, the story is that she loves my music and my sayings and that I've been an inspiration to her. And I hadn't read the book and then they sent it to me. So they're using tons of my songs from the old days in the movie in the soundtrack and I've written two or three new things for it. I'm not in the movie. Okay, but all the music that's going to be yes. a part of it. Now I have to ask you this because we're talking about kids and so many generations that have been influenced by you. Do you ever get a kick out of or how does it feel when somebody says number one they've named their child Dolly <laughs> or in Jennifer Aniston's case she named her dog Dolly. Oh I know, that's <laughs> true, she did. And the other day somebody said, uh, one of the fans, somebody got mad at me uh, because of the award show when I didn't, you know, say something you know, about the political stuff. And one of the girls that was a big fan of mine, she called the office and said, I can't believe you didn't say something, you know, uh, you know, to uphold everything. And she said, I had a dog named Dolly and one named Parton, and I'm changing their names, and I'm never coming to Dolly. With them. And I think she had a, she had two dogs, one was named Dolly and one named Parton, and I got the biggest kick out of that. But it, it does make me feel good when, well, I hope she'll come back, and I hope right. she'll forgive me. I didn't do anything. You I, didn't do it. You I, were in a very strange situation I at that was, moment. So My heart went out to you. When all else fails, I just do a boob joke well, or something. But anyhow, never fails. But the point is, uh, you know, it does make me feel good for some of these younger people to say that I've inspired them or that they've named their 
cats and dogs after me. You know, I guess I should. If I had enough sense, I'd probably take it as an insult, but I don't. No. I take it as a compliment. What's it? You know, I love the fact that you were reunited. We had the little nine to five uh, reunion that happened there. It got a little weird, but I have to ask because those two are doing a show, Grace and Frankie. Mm -hmm. Would you ever do a cameo on there? Would you well, we've been trying to do that ever since they started the show. Okay. And so we keep trying every year, but it, our schedule is always wrong when they're doing their show mm -hmm. and w the time that it would be for time for me to do it, because you have to spend like a week, 10 days working yeah. on it. I was doing something else. So we talked about it. I'm still going to try. I'm sure it'll be on a long time because it's a great show. It is funny. And it's so, so funny. Uh, but I, we haven't been able to schedule it yet. Okay, so I love to binge watch Netflix. Do you binge watch anything? What's your show? Well, I don't watch that much television. I prefer to read, but when I do watch, it's usually when I'm coming home after something else, and if I don't feel like reading, I watch CSI or those forensic. I mean, oh, I go, really? I do, because I find it so fascinating that they can just they can just solve a whole case with a hair or a... <laughs> You know, or a drop of blood, or a leaf, or right. you know, I just find that so fascinating. So I love watching that stuff. I love that you watch that. Okay, so perfect night in. What would you be eating? Like, what's your favorite dinner to to have? Oh, I'm a junk food person. By that time of night, usually I've had supper. If not, I'll eat something potatoes. I'll get a big old sack of potato chips, some dip or something, or some ice cream. Depends on what it is. But I'm always eating something. But I love, I eat good food, but I eat a lot of junk too. Me too. All Usually, right. especially TV, you got to have junk. You have to. It has to just be mindless and you're mm -hmm. eating it. If we were ordering a pizza together, what would we get on it? I would get the Supreme oh, on yeah. thin crust. I do like the thin crust With extra better. pork sausage. <laughs> This is why I love you so much. Put the extra pork right on her side. I want some pepperoni on my side. That's how we're going to order it out. Um, I also want to talk to you about Miley's new album because Miley just dropped an album. You have a duet with her on yes. there. We talk wrote it and sang it. Yes. I know. Tell me about it's this about album. time. Well, actually, we've just never had the opportunity to get together to do anything because of our schedules also. Right. But she had come up with this idea, you know, this title for her song. and. Uh, she had she was working on it, and so she said, "Won't you help me write this song, and we'll do it on my own?" So we kept sending it back and forth, and I'd write, send it back. She'd write some more, she'd send it back, I'd write some more, till we finally got it the way we both you know liked. I think her producer wrote some on it too, and so anyway, we finally got it together, and uh, so we sang it, and it's just a simple little song, but it's really kind of about what the times are now too. Right. It's really just about if we tried a little harder, we could be a little better people if we tried. We could live in rainbow land if we could have enough love to kind of fix things a little bit and be willing to do it. And it's just a good little singable melody. And mm -hmm. I'm excited about it. It's it's simple. Yeah. And it sounds kind of like old, old country to me. Kind of makes me think of me and Molly sound like Johnny and June. You know, somehow it reminds me of Johnny and June I records. Love that. But I love the way it sounds. You know, looking at um, what she's doing now on The Voice, she's really coming on strong. I think she's this, so good. She that girl, really has her been. timing is so good. She's right. so smart. Her comedic timing is great. She's very witty, very clever, mm -hmm. and she's a great little hostess. I think she's. I just think Molly's great. I love her writing. I love her singing. I just love the way she is. And she had a, you know, she had to grow up. But don't we all? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, so. Like so. I say, I, I would never say nothing bad about Molly. She's like one of my kids. Of course. Are yeah. you going to be able to uh, pop in and help out on The Voice, maybe? Oh, I bet you they'll be asking me mm -hmm. while she's there. And mm -hmm. I bet you if I can do it at all, I will. I bet you will sing Rainbow Land. <laughs> I like those bets. I'm a betting person, so I'm going to bet on it all day long. If there's one thing that people need to know about this new children's album that you really want them to take to heart, what would that be? Well, I just want them to know that this is really good stuff for their kids. I'm trying to be a really good teacher, not that they're not. Sometimes through music, kids can learn a lot. And I just want them to listen to these songs, take it all to heart, have fun with it, and to be just better little people after they listen to the song. <sighs> Changing the world one child at a time. That's basically what you're doing right now. You know well, that. Well, I hope I'm changing a little with the books that we give away and, and, the, and the messages we try so to good. get out. And I love kids. I mean, it's fun to play with the kids. I hope this does so well that it gives me a reason to do some more than I can put a tour together with some big old puppets on stage with all the lightings, create some new characters oh, yes. and 
just fill the auditoriums up with kids. Wouldn't that be fun? That would be so much fun. I think so too. Now you are going to be taking the stage. Before I let you go, we got to talk about Kenny. His last show. You're going to be there as a part of that. Mm -hmm. That's going to be bittersweet, isn't it? Well, it is. But uh, Kenny's just going to be retiring from the public, not from me. I'll be able to go up to Kenny's house and sing anytime I want to. And he can come up to my house and sing anytime he wants to. So it's not as sad for me as it is for just the public. I do hate that he's you know, right. hanging it up because I love his singing. And he's done so well. But he's, he's tired of it. He says he's ready to rest a little and enjoy his family. Everybody's got a right to do that. He's not a spry chicken anymore. You know, we're getting there. You know, we're up there. I, love I picture you, Kenny, a thin crust supreme pizza binge watching CSI. Yeah, I, like the fat, I like the fat bread too. It depends on my food. I call it fat bread. My husband likes the, you know, the thick yeah. one. So anyway, but me and Kenny, I'm sure Kenny liked the fat bread because he's a bigger <laughs> hog as I am. I love you. <laughs> I love you so much. Everybody, make sure that you pick up the album. It's so perfect. It's perfect timing too for Christmas presents for your little nieces and oh, nephews. Yes, Anybody get the word out. I believe in you. Dolly All the Parker. money goes to the kids. Back to the Imagination Library. So good. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you.